Hi everybody, good day to you. This is a 2011 Toyota Prius. It has an electron powered hybrid drive module for fuel economy. Quiet. So a uh, customer states that vehicle makes like a rattling, uh, banging noise when going over bumps or obstacles, uh, speed bumps, cracks in the road, driving down in a straight line, etc. So uh, let's take this thing out for a quick test drive and see if we cannot duplicate the noises and then uh, we'll go from there. Safety click. Why are you beeping at me? It's because I'm in reverse. There we go. I don't know how to use this car. All right, let's see what we can do here. It's a parking lot over yonder. Let's drive through that. And see if the speed bumps will set off the, uh, the rattling noise that we hear. I don't hear anything. There's another speed bump. Nope. Odd, okay. I believe him, I know something's making noise. I just don't hear it right now. All right, well, after a series of speed bumps, I'm gonna hit a few more on the way back. Let's swing this back into the shop get it up on the lift and we'll visually inspect the undercarriage for like an exhaust rattle or something, something loose, sway bar bushings or links broken off, who knows. Yeah, I still haven't heard anything, so let's uh, let's commence with the visual inspecting and see what we can come up with here. Windows down, it's still raining outside. Third or fourth day in a row of rain. We're gonna have alligators in the yard pretty soon. Powering down. <laughs> Prius moving up. All the way up. All right, let's see what we got going on down here. I don't see anything falling off. Is it the exhaust? Okay. I hear it. Oh, I see it. This is problem. Ah, I see, I see. Our, uh, our welds or whatever broke off. Hmm, I wonder if I can re-weld that. I think I can. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can't just re-weld this because I would have to uh, replace the entire exhaust and that would not be cost effective now, would it? Yeah, let's just weld that back on, problem solved. Hmm, now this mount is a bit rusted. I think if I pull it in a little bit, I can get a bead on the non-rusted part. Maybe I can stick a bolt up here or something and weld that to it as well. Yeah, I, I can I can patch this back together and save them a couple thousand bucks. You know, sometimes I feel like I'm in a constant battle against the throwaway society. It just seems unfair that this thing should be junked just because it broke. Yeah, let's clamp that on right there. Do 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 do. Stay. More doodly doos. All right, ground clamp, you can go right there. What I think I'll do is tack this on as best I can, and then I'll hammer the these boogered up parts kind of flat and then re-weld them. I don't like that. Stay. All right, so a couple things before this happens. Uh, number one, I am not a welder. I don't claim to be a welder. Welding is not my, uh, my strong suit, okay? I can get through it, it works. It may be pretty, it may not be pretty. Just wanna get that out there right now. Number two, this welder is a MIG that is not equipped with gas. We do have a gas welder here, but it is broken. The, uh, the wand broke on it. So I brought in my welder, which is also a MIG with flux cord wire. It has no gas and I do not plan on hooking up gas. Therefore, it makes the welds even uglier than my normal ugly welds. So I don't want to hear any re about you're a terrible welder and you should have done it better and blah, 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 blah. I'm doing what I can do to get it done and saving somebody some money. And that's how it's going to be. So that being said, let's weld this thing. 
I want this over here. Bright lights. That didn't work. A little too hot. Turn down the heat and turn down the wire speed. welding job is getting terrible. I can't get a good bead to run on this. I wonder if I almost need the gas. I checked to see if this was stainless and it's magnetic, so I don't think it is. It's, it is a ferrous metal. Or it's all just rusted out to nothing. Or I just can't weld. Or all of the above. All right, that was a big failure of epic proportions. So I ended up breaking off uh, the existing mount that was there. Uh, welding's not gonna happen, so I'm gonna knock off those welds that I made with this little uh, carbide grinder here, and we're gonna re-strategize and try something else. It's gonna be a lot of loud noises right here, so let me get through this real fast. And then we'll pick back up once I get this whole mess that I made cleaned up. Stand by. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. Since I can't fix this old clamp, I'm gonna make a new one out of a piece of a clamp. It's an inch and a half, there you can see it, inch and a half U-bolt clamp. So we're gonna get this guy set up because I can weld to this. What I can't weld to is this. So we're just gonna eliminate that problem altogether. It's gonna work. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, this has to work. There is no other option here other than it's gonna work. Oh. I need to take a notch out of that. Did you break something? This is the weld left over from the upper part of that old bracket. All right, let's try this again. Is it gonna fit more better? Yep. Nice. Kind of. Pliers. All right, time for some Knipex. I like to say Nipex because the K is silent in English. But the Nipex people say it's Knipex. Everything's a hammer. Okay, let's straighten this up some and then we'll tighten it. 
I can. You gonna turn? All right, there, I'll just force it. Okay, so here's the uh, piece of the old hanger. It's supposed to go like so, yeah? What I'm gonna do, I think, let's see how this mocks up right here like that. That goes there, this one goes a little higher up. So I need to set this up right about there. terrible and I hate that. Maybe I should just weld a bolt to it. Cut this off right here and extend it. Weld it on with a bolt. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Check it out, so I trimmed off all that nasty stuff with the Sawzall. We've got a new hanger here. So what I'm thinking is I can set this up like right about here maybe, and then weld it on. I have to cut into it some more there, but I'll weld this guy on to that bolt right here, and that will give me the perfect spacing to set up this new hanger. So let me go make a couple more cuts in this, and then we'll get this thing uh, welded on and installed. Crank off, please. There we go. Good. Open that hole up some. Good. Okay, here we go. Let's put, uh, let's get our ground clamp back on. Here's our new clamp. There's the hanger there, so I'm gonna do that to space it. looks like this thing gets buzzed on right here just like so. Is this going to work? Let's find out. Okay, I think it's going to work. So the first thing I'm going to do is buzz this shank to this nut or the bolt right here on the U-bolt on the clamp. And then I can again bend these brackets in and try to tack them on or something like that. Even if I only get a good weld on the shank right here, that will be enough to uh, to hold this thing in position. I think. I hope. We'll see. Bright lights. Come on, fusion. Let's do it. Nope, not yet. You on there? Yeah, it's on there now. All right. We don't need you. Oh, it's still pretty loose. It's barely on there. Weld it some more.
yeah, this is good. It's working. I think this bracket is stainless. I might have to just cut it off all the way. Yeah, I feel like this thing was made to fail for me. This is not working. Let me get rid of this little bracket, the whole deal. Goodbye. Now I'm just really gonna weld the, weld the crap out of it. Sayonara to this other side of this bracket too. We don't need this anymore. Let's get rid of that. pressure. There's a decent bead across the bottom of the U-bolt and the base of that bracket mount. But I want to reach around and get it from the top side and put another bead up there. Now that I've figured out a way to actually make this work, my next task is to figure out a way to actually make it last. It's going to be subject to a lot of vibrations and harshness, and I don't want this thing to work itself loose and break off in a week or a day, next month, whatever. A little bit more. Nice. That's looking pretty solid. Nice, nice, nice. It moved a little bit though. Let's move it back there. Easy to bend while it's red hot. However, I'm not done yet. I want to make some support structure on the top side and I can use a, well, I can just use a bolt for that. A spare. There we go. Now it's really never gonna break. Well, nicely, good. Well, nice per my standards, so I'm not a welder. Beautiful. Kind of. 
beautiful in like a Mad Max kind of way. Sweet. Let me do a couple. Let me hit it a couple times from the back. I think we'll be all set here. I think that's about as good as I can get this. That's attached, that's attached, it's strong. All right, let's knock off all the slag. I'll throw some paint on this. And uh, then we'll uh, wait for it to cool. Probably not in that order. And uh, once it cools, like I said, I can paint it and then I'll throw that hanger on and we're good to go. Brush shiny. Yeah, who says you can't weld stainless? Because they're right. Okay, a little bit of paint just to make this nice and uh, not shiny. It should be good. I'm using a high temperature engine paint, so any heat that's uh, in this pipe or in this hanger won't affect the uh, quality of the paint. It's gonna work. Another! All right, let's try this again. Yeah, it's still a little warm. It's boiling. It'll be okay. Shiny. It's so shiny, now you can't see it. All right, let's get this little rubber hanger in there. And we should be good to go here after we do the, the shake test. Oh, that's tight. Get on there, what are you doing? Pry bar. More pry bar. Get on there. All right, got it. That's that. Made a new one. No more rattly noise. Perfect. Powering down flashlights. All right, guys. My dude right here is waiting on this, so I'm gonna go ahead and close this one out. It's always like thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you didn't enjoy this video, um, I mean, I don't blame you. I chopped up a bunch of stuff and welded a bunch of stuff, like hack shade tree style. Uh, no offense to you shade tree guys. But it is what it is. I did what I had to do. I saved these people like $2,000. So that's a, that's a win for me. I'm reducing landfill and saving the environment. So, and I hope you like that. If you do like that, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like that, uh, let me know about that in the comments.
So anyway, before I start rambling, again, and as always, thank you for watching. And most importantly, don't forget to have yourselves a great day. See you guys later. End of Toyota. And since you're still here, let's do the exhaust leak check just for fun. I know some of you were wondering. I don't know if it's gonna start though, because it's a Prius. All right, let us starting the Prius engine. Okay, it appears to be on. Give us some throttle, we'll see what it does. Just give it full throttle here, it'll start. Yep, it's a running, and guess what it's not doing? It's not leaking. Victory smells like cooking paint. Yeah, so as I'm backing out, they hand me a rear wiper blade. It better be on the work order, that's all I gotta say. One tenth, I don't even care. Okay, you go there, stay. What is this business? this this is the don't break your car trick come off of there before I break it yeah now how about this one how do I do this we're just gonna break it it's not really breaking it it just sort of feels yeah. like that at first however in all seriousness this 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 be very careful with rear wiper arms because they are fragile and do break. Okay, old one is adapter A, so we need adapter A. Let's see, this one is E, is that negative? B, negative. A, good. So that's gonna clip in here, I think. Does it clip in and slide forward? Sure. Click, wiper blade click. Nice. If you don't take this thing off, it will break and it'll break the arm and that will be expensive. See you guys later.